it's creamy, it's dreamy, it's my three ingredient mango ice cream. Hi, you're watching Plating It at Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. No matter the season, mango is my favorite flavor, so let's get started. To make this delicious ice cream, we're going to be using four mangoes. You can use any variety that you love or is available. Let's scoop the mango into a blender. And don't forget the seeds, we're going to trim down the sides. Another option that I love to use if I don't have fresh mangoes is mango pulp and the flavor is just as incredible. Let's blend this up till we get a nice smooth puree. From four mangoes, we're going to get about 600 grams of mango pulp. Once the mangoes are well pureed, we're going to add one can of condensed milk and this is going to sweeten up and make the ice cream nice and creamy. Now let's blend our first two ingredients together. Now let's keep this aside and whip up the cream. For our final ingredient, we're going to go in with two cups of whipping cream and whip it till we get soft peaks. We'll first start whipping it on a medium speed and then we'll gradually crank it up. You could use a stand mixer to whip up the cream, but a hand mixer would work just as well. So this is the consistency that we are looking for, just soft, delicate peaks. Now let's add the blended mango to the whipped cream. We're going to do this very gradually because we don't want the whipped cream to deflate. Wow, I cannot wait to dig into a scoop of this ice cream. And the best part, you don't need an ice cream machine. It's just so simple. Three ingredients, that's it. Trying to scrape down every bit of that mango. This is such a nice dessert to make for a party. You can even turn it into a cake actually. Now we're going to pour the ice cream mix into a freezer safe container. From this batch, we're going to get about 2 liters of delicious mango ice cream. Now here's a tip to prevent icicles from forming on your ice cream just to cover it with a plastic wrap and we're going to touch the plastic wrap right to the surface of the ice cream on the top. Okay now let's place this in the freezer and after five hours we'll take it out and give it a churn up and we'll see what a creamy ice cream we get. After having it in the freezer for about five hours when it's just about setting but not yet there that's the texture we're looking for. We're going to take it out into a bowl and with a hand mixer on a low speed, we're going to churn it up to get that incredibly creamy ice cream. I think that's just about perfect. Now let's put it back into the container. Now let's place the plastic wrap once again onto the surface of the ice cream. Making sure that we touch the surface well, because we don't want any icicles forming now. Now let's toss on the lid and place it back in the freezer and it should set in 6 hours and then you can enjoy it. Enjoy this mango ice cream scooped into a bowl or in a crispy waffle cone. And because we love to impress, let's toss in some fresh mango cubes and top it with mint leaves. Now I'm going to give this delicious ice cream a taste and I know you wish you were here with me. Oh, it's so creamy. Mmm! That is simply delicious. And look at that. Hey, but before I go, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, 
subscribe and if you hit on that bell icon you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video if you enjoy watching my videos don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below follow me on Facebook Instagram and TikTok the information is in the description below thanks for watching see you soon